So this will be put up on YouTube and shared out with participants who weren't able to make it today. So we always like to talk a little bit about the why. Why are we doing office hours? One of those reasons is um, documented in high leverage practices by the Council for Ex Exceptional Children. And we know that using assistive and instructional technologies is one of those things that the CEC has named as a high leverage practice, which means it has great impact on the learning and progress that students have, especially students with disabilities. Whenever we look at assistive technology, we think about the set framework to consider that. And that framework looks at the student, their strengths and needs, the environments in which they're operating, um, the tasks that we as a team and they as individuals hope to complete. And then we overlay the tools of assistive technology on top of that to support their progress. We know that this is a great lens to look through equity because that ensures that every student gets exactly what it is that they need. Today's guests are a series of us from the Region 3 Assistive Technology Community of Practice, and I will have each of them introduce themselves as they take their turns on the slides. We're each going to be talking about some different AT lending libraries. Um, so again, feel free to chime in with questions in the, in the chat window or unmute yourselves. We'll also have time at the end for Q&A. So I'm going to kick it off. I've already introduced myself, but we're going to talk a little bit about the Pacer Simon Technology Center. So where can you access that? I've got links here and I'm going to click on a couple of those links. The first one whoop, is the actual Simon Technology Lending Library. And you'll be able to see here they've they use My Turn, which is a beautiful lending library borrowing app. And you'll see that each item has a picture. And then when you click on it, it'll give you a description of that item, the price, where it's from, what you can use it for. And then down below, it'll show availability on the calendar. So they've got a great um, online lending library option there. You can also sort their entire library by different items. If you wanted cause and effect things, you just click on cause and effect. You'll see that there are things like actual items. There are also apps as they do lend apps through iPads. So lots of options there through the Simon Technology Center. They have literally thousands of items available. So you can take your time logging or just kind of browsing through that library but just know that there's a lot of things available in there and they have new things um, coming in frequently. The physical location for the STC is in Bloomington, Minnesota. So we'll talk in just a moment but um, you can stop down there and pick anything up or have um, or drop it off when you're done with it but they typically will ship things to you at their cost and then you would pay to have them the shipping returned or your district would. So how can you access the Simon technology? There are different costs for Minnesota members and out of state members. We're all here from region three, so you're going to be in state. But if you click on this link here, one of the things that just started last year, I believe, um, is that there are now free annual memberships, both for Minnesota families and consumers and for an individual professional. Um, there are some slight limits that are a little lower for these free accounts. For example, you can only borrow four items at a time, but um, they're free. And you, you do have to put down a credit card or debit card in case something would get lost or broken or something like that so that you would be um, responsible for that. They're also um, ISD 709 Duluth Public Schools does have the um, school and organization membership that is that does have a cost attached to it, but you can borrow more items at a time. And then it's um, the organization has the responsibility level rather than the individual. So just know that that is kind of the difference. There are options for out-of-state members. I won't go through that since we're all here in Minnesota, but just know that those are those are options as well. And we're kind of flying through, but again, this is just kind of an introduction. Um, any item can be kept for four weeks from the checkout date. That includes shipping time. So it's a pretty quick turnaround. Looks a little more like three weeks in hand. So just know that. They also partner with the Minnesota STAR program. Um, and you can work directly with STAR. I put a link here just so that you know that um, this is its own 
separate entity and they have a device loan program themselves, but you can work directly with them or with any of their partner organizations. And the Simon Technology Center, that's why I put it in here at this point, is one of their partner organizations. So anything that you saw on the STAR lending library, you could also borrow directly through the Simon Technology Center um, rather than trying to work with multiple different organizations. They also work with the Lighthouse, who is what who is the library that we're going to talk about next. So just know that the Minnesota STAR program is another, another resource. The last piece that I'll talk about for PACER is that we have past office hours by STC staff where they walk you through, literally sometimes walk you through their library and show you things that are on the shelves and new items that they've got available. They also, um, just this past spring, did um, an AT for early childhood office hour with Elizabeth Berry. That's really good. So those are worth checking out. Tina Olson was going to talk to us about Lighthouse Center for Vital Living, but she had something come up. So I'm going to, you have to listen to me for a couple more minutes while I go through her slides, and then I'll turn it over after Lighthouse. So there's a link here online, the Lighthouse Center for Vital Living. It's their general web page. Um, they're working to get items online and to have an online checkout for their library. So just know that there's no actual library online to access yet at this point. They did just move and they're now downtown on West Superior Street here in Duluth. And that's their phone number there too. And you can access this by reaching out to Sherry Cook. That's her email address there on the page. Um, she is incredibly helpful and can help you find whatever it is that you need to find. Um, there is no fee for this library. You can call or email Sherry to get those items to you. And then you would go and pick those up. Um, I know she has done some shipping for people who are in other locations. So just know that that's, that's an option too. Um, and the items are checked out for six to eight weeks. Um, so a little longer checkout for this library. Again, they're working on getting those items on the website. They did just move locations, as I mentioned, and they're working on developing a sensory room, a cooking area in their new space. They have a lot more room to work with. Um, they also do assistive technology assessments right in the schools. So if you had um, needed some support with that, they can do that, just some releases of information required. They also do have occupational services, O&M training, assessments, and device demos for families in their homes. So it's not just school-based, but also supporting students in the homes. All right, and now I will hand it over to Krista Sievertson. Hi, I'm Krista Sievertson. I am the Autism and Assistive Technology Specialist at the Duluth Edison Charter Schools. I'm going to talk to you today about the Region 3 AT Lending Library. Um, this is the lending library that is kind of run by the members of our community of practice. We've been working on organizing it and uh, making sure that everything in there is up to date. And so um, I've included some links here where you can access our lending library to see a list of the items that are available. You can click on that if you want to, Julie, just to kind of see what that looks like. Um, right now, we're um, working on adding in photos and links and some descriptions to some of the items that are in there so you can take a look at what they are. You can also see if it's currently checked out. Um, so there's a couple different ways that you can get to that lending library. There, I've included a link there. You can also navigate to the bottom of the Northland Learning Center website currently. Um, we're still talking about, um, because there's some changes coming up with our library, uh, if we're going to continue to have that link there, but we will keep you all updated on what that will look like. Uh, you'll see in my notice there that our library is actually currently closed. It's been moved, boxed up and moved to Grand Rapids and we're working on getting it organized and set up so that it's easier to access there. And if you are on that um, Region 3 low incidence email list, you'll get an update when that is reopened. And I included a link for you to subscribe to the email list if you aren't subscribed already. The new location is gonna be at the Old Southwest School in Grand Rapids, so it's moving from Virginia. Go ahead to the next slide, Julie, whenever you're ready. Thank you. Oh, I just uh, put this in here just to show you where you can currently um, find that, uh, that link if you ever need to. Um, just head to the Northland Learning Center page and scroll down to the bottom and there's a little link down there to the Region 3 Lending Library. 
So anyone who is a staff member in a Region 3 school um, is able to access our library and to check out an item, we have a Google form that you would fill out and that will go to a new administrator who um, is at the new site. So we are still working out the, the kinks with all of that, but uh, once it's up and running, we'll let you know. There is no cost other than the return shipping and um, items will be shipped out to you. They can keep, be kept up to six weeks and sometimes longer if there's nobody on the list waiting for them. Um, you would return it through the mail at your district's expense or if you have someone heading up to Grand Rapids from your district, they can hand deliver it back to the library. So often we'll send things with members of our team or if um, you have a administrator meeting up there for, for something, you could send it with a director or someone like that. And a little bit of additional info about our Region 3 Lending Library. We are adding new items every year. So if you have a request, please let somebody from our team know if there's something you'd really like to have in the library. We're always looking for um, what the needs are in our area. Some new items that we added last year include a Honeybee proximity switch, a Bluetooth keyboard, and a whole bunch of different adapted cooking tools that we'll be putting it together in kind of like a set that you could check out. And I also included a past office hour that we've done on our Region 3 AT Lending Library if you'd like even more detail and kind of a walkthrough of the checkout process and things like that. Great, thanks so much, Krista. And now I will pass it over to Melissa King. Hi, I'm Melissa King, the Deaf Hard of Hearing teacher for ISD 318 and IASC. And I'm just gonna give you a little bit of information on the lending library that's the Minnesota State Academy for the Deaf and the Blind. Um, as we go proceed, it'll go to the same lending library, so it's interchangeable. So if you wanna go ahead, Julie. So um, I, here's a little bit of information on how to access the State Academy, the lending library. The address and everything is listed. The gentleman in which to contact his telephone and email is also listed. And then on the bottom, you can see the link. Um, however, I did a screenshot. So on the next slide, I have the link for the lending library. So um, people who can access the lending library are both are all um, licensed educators through the educators through the state of Minnesota. So to create an account, which is free, you just need to use your Minnesota state license number to create your account on their lending library. Um, a couple key points about their lending library. There's a significant amount of information and tools for students that are blind um, and deafblind. So there's a lot of, there's different braille tech, technology and some pretty extensive technology in that regard. There's also curriculum and then other assistive technology for um, deaf and deafblind. So um, that's all listed on there. Uh, items are typically lent out anywhere from six to nine weeks. It is free shipping both ways. There is not a fee. Um, to this lending library and the link has been included. So I did not include a link to the library just because I didn't access, I didn't put my account in there. So, um, but you can go ahead and create your account through um, that link. Awesome, thanks Melissa. And then the last thing that we're gonna go through before we open it up for questions, answers, or any other information people would like to share, um, we have, there are a few around the region of district and co-op lending libraries. So ISD 709, Duluth Public Schools, you probably get sick of me hearing, or he get sick of hearing me say that it's linked on the hub, like everything's linked on the hub, but that's where you can access our lending library. You can contact me if you need more information about that. Krista has put in here um, for the Duluth Edison Charter Schools, they're in the process of developing their online library access. I know that should be coming up sometime in the near future. And she's the one that you can contact there her email address. Um, Northern Lights has um, a lending library as well and that link will take you to their page for their lending libraries and Shannon Pruel and Tina Olson are the contacts on those libraries. Um, so you can either reach out to one of us listed there um, or click on the links to get more information. So that is all we have for our presentation of content here. We wanted to give kind of a whirlwind tour so everyone could just get a glimpse of what was happening and what was available out there. But I will open it up now for questions and answers. Feel free to unmute yourselves or type in the chat window. What else would you like to know?
I'll leave my teacher wait time going for another minute or two, but I will go ahead and stop the recording. Just a reminder that this will end up on YouTube for you to watch in the future.